Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with Master Duel. You... you've heard the news already. They finally... the Herald of Galactus is here. Toad is being banned. And that can only mean one thing. It means Sprite and Tear are on the way. Ah, man. I... if you go back to a lot of my Master Duel videos, a lot of the early ones were me just totally using Totally Awesome um, and having a whole lot of fun. I would say that Toad is probably the main reason why I play so many weird decks along with meta decks. Just to... I guess Rogue is like, but even some of mine I wouldn't consider Rogue. I, sometimes I would consider them bad. But anyway... With him getting banned, it means that, unfortunately, this is going to be the last hurrah for this deck, because I'm never going to be able to play it again, because Grass is also going to do, and without Toad, this deck doesn't function. This deck doesn't already function, but for what the hell, I'm going to use the deck that basically I started all the way back in the day. It is Paleo Frogs, Grass Looks Greener. It is a mess. It is a jumbled mess. It is in no way a good deck, but I'm going to go into Gold Ranked, which thankfully means I'll be going against equally bad decks, or Despia, whichever one. Or actually Math Mech now. And see how it goes. This is going to be the last hurrah for my boy Toad. I'm going to be sad to see him go. It's a real... It's also a real dumb... I'm just going to show it. Because I think it's stupid that they did this. They said in the notifications we will give a reason why... Um... <laughs> Uh, why these cards got banned. We have compiled the trends of results of decks used in ranked duels and events that will limit cards and decks of overstanding high usage and win rates in line with their uh, impact on the metagame. Union Carrier and Totally Awesome weren't doing shit, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Union Carrier obviously was only really used in the... Well, first of all, if you were, if you were running ABC Buster Dragon, you had to use it in there, but he also set up a lot of, like... Like, the infant and the gate, a lot of, like, cheesy stuff like that, and obviously he would have to get banned eventually, but I also don't, I never saw anyone actually using Union Carrier, but whatever. But Totally Awesome is directly a hit on the fact that no one is using Toad, but people who really love Toad. That only means that Sprite is coming, and they're banning him now. Now, unfortunately, we can't go into Freem Chronicles, but we'll go into here. Uh, I also have to change up my wind-up deck, but it's fine. Wind-up will just swap out toad for another card and they'll be perfectly fine i didn't even always go into toad sometimes i could just go into abyss dweller and honestly in the upcoming meta abyss dweller will be pretty good so let's go come on mochi frog or aka totally awesome i'm going second i think i lose so yeah this deck not the greatest uh, what does it do against maxi it loses what does it do against a singular aspo awesome it might be okay <laughs> Oh my god, this hand's hand, not good. Oh, uh, and what do you do if you don't draw grass? Pray. <laughs> heavy forward. Oh, Infinite Track. I think we have a chance here if he doesn't have a uh, heavy storm. We, we, might, we might be in it. Thankfully, I don't think that the heavy tracks use um, any back row, so I can keep this in the hand. Set 5 pass. Planet of the Apes. We'll see. Let me see what he does. What, what, what if Infinitrack goes first? I've never heard of Infinitrack deck going first. Oh, this is a continuous? Once per turn, you can target one machine you can control. Change his battle position, attach this card to its material. Okay, it's not too bad. I've never heard of Infinitrack going, deck going first. They usually go second. Mainly because they OTK in a single turn. So I'm kind of interested to see where this guy's going. Ooh, Therion stuff, though. Hopefully not Therion. Anyone but him would be okay with me. I would have to actually probably use some of the other stuff. Uh, if I track Brutal Dozer. Was that one of the cards he selected? No, Durkane. I guess we'll find out soon which one I got. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm bummed out. Uh, it's a sad day to see our boy Toad gone. But we'll see if I'll even be able to summon Toad. Actually, I should be able to summon Toad. I forgot, the Paleozoics are rank 2 stuff, so they can totally go into them if they want. Okay. So, why did you do all that pomp and circumstance if you were always just going to get him? Okay, he's here. 
I think he only negates monster cards. Yeah. He only negates monster cards. <laughs> Activate the card or effect. Okay, no, nah, never mind. They can do so many things. But can he negate? I guess it is the declaration of attack and not the actual attack. Uh, Dimensional Barrier also not going to do much. Actually, yes, it would do much against this deck. You done? You done, my guy? My turn? Even though I don't think there's a single card I can draw that would actually help me out in this situation. This is a, an insane going second. It doesn't do anything, though. I've never seen them going first. This is the first time I've ever seen this board. What else you got? Kind of want to see where you're going with this. Another Goliath, okay. Wait, did another Goliath? <laughs> It's gonna be real funny when I lose to this. D d another Goliath. Boo. Angle knuckle. My turn? Yeah, this is a. This is definitely a board. I'll tell you that much. Crazy board. He has a singular negate and a thing that would negate my ability to try and stop negating him. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I think Dimensional Barrier obviously works. This obviously works. Jelly Cannon obviously works. I need this. And boom. Set five fast. It's the end phase. I don't know what you're doing. Till the end of this turn. I don't think you realize what's, what's going on. Oh, he's doing it for the infinite track stuff. Uh-oh. That's potentially bad. Oh, but he isn't doing anything right now. So, so it's fine. Probably thought I was Eldritch, but I'm not Eldritch. Start by forcing out. Start by using this so that he's face down now. I may have screwed up on that, but it's fine. <laughs> I really expected him just to use the negate. I'm trying to set the deck draws two cards. Sure. Pretty sure you win this, just keep playing. I don't know what's uh, got you on the hold up, my friend. There ain't really much I can do besides survive the turn. This is a deep in thought. Okay. Now he's going to activate it. Yeah, there it is. Go with this one. 
I really just lose that one. I really misplayed that beginning that beginning part. Oh, he's just gonna let it go through. Okay. Maxi. <laughs> sure, draw a singular card. I'm already losing this, but you can draw a card. Yep, this is gone. What's taking this guy so long to beat me? He should have already beaten me a long time ago. Maybe he's new to the game. And that's what's taking him forever. I think that's pretty likely. Infinite Track River Storm. Apply it to one of these monsters. Attach this guard to it as material. Uh, I just rather it go. This guy's taking too long. I lost this one, but he's taking too long to actually win. So I'll just move on. Next game, hopefully one that is not with a very boring deck, with a person who doesn't know how to use it, and with a <laughs> better deck. I don't know what took him so long to do anything, and Finish Track is like the easiest deck in the world. Summon level 5, win game. But he was taking forever. I was like, oh my god, I'm done with this, please. When you play a simple deck, you should be able to just go in and get out and have no problem. This is a pretty okay deck. This is a pretty okay deck. It's a pretty okay hand. I'll activate Fury of Kyrushin. I'll get that. And then I think I will go here. Yeah, go into Almirage, even though it's nice to kind of keep that Almirage for if I get Swap Frog. I don't have Swap Frog, so I'll gladly look at the top cards of my deck. Uh... Okay. Okay. Then we enter the turn. See if we can somehow get a frog in this game somehow. Not the greatest of uh, starting off, though. Rebellion 13. Pass? Uh, yeah, I'll use a lot of cards here. And then I think I can use Compulse. So I'll use Compulse. And because you no longer have protection... I'll set a card. And I think I'll go... with Grass. <laughs> Nope. Nothing activated at this time. He probably has something to stop grass, but I'm willing to dream big. Use it now or lose it. He has something he can use. You're gonna let it go through. Ooh. Let me see, did I get anything? Any toads? Any frogs? That's a singular frog in there. Let's go. Normal summon. I don't think I can win this turn, but I am going to be able to give some hurdy. What are your face downs, I wonder? Well, let's find out one of them. I have no reason to summon toad right now. Summon back to it anyway, I should say. Solemn <laughs> Judgment? <laughs> Solemn Judgment on the Nightmare Feet. What is your phase down? That is so amazing. I want to see now. Battle phase 3000 to the dome. He probably is a burn deck. He's not a burn deck. What was that? That's crazy. I love gold rat status. 
You get some real funny duels in here. Nothing I can do here, so go ahead, your turn. Solemn Judgment into the Nightmare Phoenix. And I was going for that Solemn, too. Necro Valley, that stops me. It's probably... It's probably something that stops me, right? Well, thankfully for me... Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately for me, this, uh, this guy really does kind of screw up my everything. Alright, let's go here. What are the chances of running into... Is this just an old-school Gravekeeper's deck? It might be. Please get guard. No, no guard. Uh, fusion summon, okay. Uh, main phase dose. There's absolutely no reason for me to play this. I can't use it anyway, so I'll keep it in my hand. That's crazy. one. What are you gonna do? I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, that's not happening. So I suggest you find another uh, way to play. Okay. Fair enough. He might actually win here because of Necro Valley, which is funny to say. Let me see. Gravekeeper Supernaturalist. Ah, uh, well, that because you can. And any card in your field zone cannot be destroyed by... Okay. There's literally no reason for me to use Torrential then. Sure. Go ahead, buddy. Now I forget if I can activate Lost Winds in the damage step, so I'm just going to activate it now. No. <laughs> you know, he was feeling good about that. Alright, next one. I'm trying to summon Toad here. Man. It turns out when a 60 card deck, even if your main purpose is Toads, it's very hard to summon Toad turn one. Of course, I actually need Swap Frog, and that will help me get there. Ooh. Can this one be the one where I start with the Nuts hand? Which is a uh, Ronin Toted in hand with Swap Frog. Let's see. Ah, uh, always so close yet always so far away. He has Max C. So, let's see what we can do. This should be able to delay him a couple times. He doesn't have Max C. Backjack. Activate Maxi now. Okay. Maybe he has Imperm, actually. Or Effect Veiler. Trying to think of what he could potentially... I guess Wandering Griffin Rider is also a card you could technically use. I'm trying to think of all the cards in his hand currently that he could be using. Please use Maxi now. It'd be really funny. Nope, he's not. Eee! Oh man, this would be great for if I can survive to next turn. This hand's gonna be amazing. Torian. No one expects the second Torrential tribute, and no one expects Jelly Cannon ever. End turn. That's crazy. This deck is over like six. It's 60 cards, and most the majority of them, I would say, is like 75% trap cards. 
If he opens Feather Duster, I think I also just lose here. But hey, at least I'll end it hopefully with Pancratops! I mean, what is he gonna, in theory, do? I guess on the second one. I don't see a reason to activate it. What's it gonna do? Attack and turn? Okay, now I see a reason to. Boom. Go ahead, activate that effect. I would love it if you activated that effect, actually. <laughs> Wait, why, if your punish is monster? Yeah, why did you do this one first? Why'd you waste your normal summon on this? That's fine. Sword Soul. I don't pretend to understand. I think now he's realized he's fucked up. Just a little bit. Did you just think that I just wasn't gonna use it? Or I was just gonna wait? You get Fallen of Albaz, or I guess to be fair, it could be an Albaz deck. I don't actually know. But we all dying. Don't matter what you play. Everyone dies. It was Moye. We all die. Nope. I'm begging you. Activate him. No one ever expects the second Torrential Tribute. Really? That's all you had? I am disappointed. Son, I am disappointed. Alright. Let's bring out the boy. Activate Swap Frog Effect. I would love it for you to imperm this. I'd have to remember not to use a second Oriental Tribute, but it's fine. Goodbye! Whoop! Return back to the hand. I have to remember about Nibiru as well. Check out this sick ass board I've got. Effect, fa effect failure on the second one, okay. Sure. You should have saved that. I'm gonna give you a pro tip and say you should have probably saved that. Boom, there he goes. Dun 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 dun. No. Mmm, am I at the fifth summon? Apparently not. We summon fourth. Totally awesome. Fear him, if you dare. Nope, still nothing. The best part about this is that he thinks that I'm all out of um, torrential tributes. Little does he know. I still have another one. Bang. End turn. Pass. Totally awesome pass. The most formidable board ever created. My turn? Standby phase? Yes, my turn. Activate. Get rid of... Boom. Mmm. Imperm now. That's kind of annoying. But what if I were to just get rid of that and take your Imperm? Because I know that Imperm completely shuts down your deck. I'm going to activate this now and see if I can get a trap card real quick off the top. I actually don't remember if I changed my deck or not. Oh no. Ooh, I did! <laughs> Gibby. This gets negated. My card now. And because uh, I get to still special summon. So, boom. There he is. Toad effect activate. Return to the extra deck. Totally awesome. Main phase one. What do you got? Nothing. Pass. You have literally nothing. I stole your imperm. <laughs> I know what you have. <laughs> so 
Sword Soul Emergence. That's fine. I don't care. What are you gonna do? Normal summon Moye? Does nothing. Impermed. Sure. Activate the effect. Show me. You got Taiya in hand, huh? Uh... Nothing for now. Then I wait for you to summon the token. Summon the token. Come on. It's okay, don't be afraid. I need to make sure that this is on. Yep. Nope. Activate. It's a when effect. This very rarely ever gets to activate. Get back, Swamp Frog. And now I think I just win. I don't think there's a single thing that this guy can do. Outside of... Summoning one very specific card, in which case I still have his number beat. Come on. It's time to give it up. It's time to give me the win. It's time to give up your, your turn, your everything. Mm, doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to give up the ghost, huh? Still thinks he has a chance. Still thinks... Sad. Sad. Very sad. Bet he's thinking right now if the Empire had gone through, I would have been able to stop the Torrential. How do you activate? Why car bug? Doesn't make any sense to him. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna miss Toad. You always got fun games like this, like this Sword Soul player who just refuses to end his turn. <laughs> he's like, I don't understand. I make such good deck. How I lose. You just lose, my friend. It happens to the best of us. Paleozoic. That's fine. Mighty fine. Summon. Activate. I think I'll put in another run in Toad in just in case. But it, this is it. This, this is game over. There's nothing really much more he can do. Now, I could actually climb all my way up to Axis Code, but I think I would rather just keep playing with Toad. But do know, I thought about it. And my thoughts are, uh, I'm not doing that right now. Mm. There's literally no reason for me to set this face down. Alright, go into battle phase. Okay, and I'll end my turn. Ah, the simple life of frog. Life good, frog play. Look at him. In his element, in total bliss. What's better than this? Not a lot, I can tell you that. Oop, sorry, I was answering a question. Yeah, activate. Get rid of the uh, Ronin Toad. Get four swap. That's basically the end of the the end of my frogs on my turn. But this guy's not living for very much longer. <laughs> Because either way, it's Axis Code game on my turn.
he's really thinking hard about what how he can get out of this situation. And the answer is, there's not a lot of things he can do, because whatever he can summon, I'm just going to take with Totally Awesome. That's probably the, the card that the reason people hate Totally Awesome so much is not the fact that he negates, it's the fact that he steals it as well. So, it's a devil case of just like, I'm just losing on every single side on this. And man, look at the happy boys. At least I'll be able to I'll have a mate of Totally Awesome, so I'll always be able to look back at that. Ah, but it's going to be sad to see him go. It's the end of this video for now, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Throw up a sad sigh for Frog and play your totally awesomes while you can. There's not much time left. I did. I really took no damage on that. Damn, that dude must have bricked hard. It's fine. It was against. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. Was that actually against a full on just Sword Soul? Or did was he running a bad version of Sword Soul? This is just Sword Soul. Uh, actually, this is a questionable Sword Soul. Eh. Oh, he also runs Toriyama Witch's Strike. Ooh. That would have been potentially very funny. That's probably why he kept in the game, is because he has Witch's Strike. That would have been hilarious if that was how I lost, but whatever. I won that one. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.